Okay, camera is running. So we are here at the United Nations headquarters in at the UN uh, and uh, one day before the signing of the Paris Agreement we are with uh, Mi Professor Mina Aslama Horowitz from uh, St. John's University and Dominic Gerber, a student at the Global Communications course. Mina, would you please share with and uh, Dominic please share some thoughts about how to communicate uh, sustainable development goals and climate action to a young audience and to get them engaged? Absolutely. We know that also in the UN context it has been discussed a lot how difficult it is to uh, or, or what a great challenge it is to communicate the SDGs to all of us, right? And at St. John's University, uh, which is a cosmopolitan university as we like to say, we are focused in international communication and I teach a course in uh, uh, media and, and global development. So when an opportunity came to work on the idea of how to communicate the goals to young audiences and how to involve and engage young audiences, uh, I engaged my class and uh, thankfully actually two classes and there were many, many students who wanted to be a part of this event. And here is uh, one of them, Dominic Gerber, who can tell you a little bit about what uh, he has thought around this theme. So as being a younger person myself and, and kind of and having many colleagues and many friends, uh, kind of take part in this social action and moving towards the uh, sustainable development goals. One idea I had was this a more of a social media marketing campaign. Now, we're, part of the generation that I'm from is the generation that went viral. So I believe that we have to go viral to really communicate effective change and effective measures to. Um, to move towards the sustainable development goals. And I believe that we kind of use social media, particularly YouTube as an example, using uh, famous YouTube stars that are communicating with young people on a daily basis. Not only they can showcase what the sustainable uh, development goals mean, but what each uh, goal means in particular, and then kind of showcasing action by younger individuals, showing that it is not just a, um, that there is no generation gap in and uh, applying a measure for, for trying to look at solutions for climate change and that we can be a driving force behind that change and then part of that sustainable development goal. Thank you very much, Dominic. And uh, do you think that this model of getting young people engaged uh, through courses like uh, media and global development could be also replicated on other universities? Oh, absolutely. And I'm sure this work is already being done in, in several universities around the world um, but it's I would almost turn it around and say if we as uh, educational institute universities Fachhochschule um, uh, vocational schools and so on and so forth if we don't take this goal seriously who will then spread the word to younger people so I think it's it's really our duty and at the same time it's our pleasure because the sustainable development goals are not only for developing or less developed nations, they're really about everybody's lives. So they are also something that are not so difficult to incorporate in any kind of education. Thank you very much Minna, thank you very much Dominic for your leadership and I look forward to work with you in the future in the context of IAI, Glotcha and Global Challenges Youth Music Contest. Thank you.